Check it out. Look at this thing that I got. Thank you, Vox. Vox is very nice to me. Um, they have sent me this bobcat to talk about and play with. Yo, this thing is cool. This is basically like, a, it's a 335 style guitar, but with, you could say these are P90-ish. I think of them more as overwound strap pickups. And yeah, it, it creates a guitar that is super fun to play. <laughs> So when my friends see this, my friend Rich came by uh, the other day um, and, and he, you know, a lot of us don't know that Vox even makes guitars because they don't make a lot. So I think the first question a lot of us have is like, are they good? <laughs> you know, that's a reasonable question. The answer is yes. Okay, let's talk about it. So the price point on these, I think these are around 1400. I think that's right. Um, and they're made in Korea. And so, yeah, when you, when, you know, if you Google that, you know, you, us guitar shopping, we're like, ooh, that's, that's kind of high. Is that, you know, does that number, does that translate to it feeling like a quality made instrument? I would say yes. It's so like the things I check for. The first thing is like, what's the feel of the neck? Like, does it have the pointy fret ends that stick out and stab me? That you'll find on, you know, cheaper guitars. Uh, and this does not have that. It's very smooth, well-rounded uh, fret edges here that don't, yeah, they do not stick out at all. And I gotta give them credit, the fretboard came nicely oiled, which usually, um, guitars you get these days, they come pretty dry and you have to pull the strings off and condition the fretboard to make it feel nice and look nice. I'm smirking. Because I remember, I, I think a video I put out about a month ago, I was like, oh, I only play single coil fenders, you know, I'm very loyal to my fenders. And then... <laughs> No, <laughs> this is actually creating a problem for me because now I'm like, wow, I haven't owned a 335 style guitar. And now I kind of am like, oh, I really like this feel. I kind of want all of them. So other things I want to talk about. Boy, that sounds nice. Here, let's, let's bring in all three pickups. I think I was supposed to talk about feel and balance of this instrument because that's a big deal for me. Does it balance on my lap? Is it going to fall one way or the other? Because that's actually my, my one criticism of the, the Gibson Les Paul. I love Les Pauls, but they have a lot of mass back here. And to sit with them and play, it's, you're always kind of working with it. Then there's the other thing of does the neck dive, which is... <laughs> guess I'm throwing shade on Gibson. They're beautiful guitars, um, but they're not always the most ergonomic. And a Gibson SG has the opposite problem, has the long neck, which makes the neck fall that way. So I do, you know, that's an important consideration when you're shopping for guitars and doing, um, yeah, our fantasy dream guitar shopping. The balance points matter. And you notice, yeah, I'm not touching it. It's sitting on my lap exactly where I need it to be. And for me, that's, that's, that's a good thing. Uh, I, I like that. Other thing I love that Vox did, it's going to be out of focus, but the knobs, hold on, yeah, they actually labeled what exactly they're for, uh, which, you know, because you got three pickups. And the way this three pickups work, because um, I used to have one of those cool Epiphone Firebird 7s that had the three mini humbuckers. That was a cool guitar. Um, the middle pickup is always on unless you tell it to not be on. So, you know, there it is in the mix. Ooh, 
that's fun to play. Let's take it out of the mix, play that same blind faith riff. Um, oh yeah, neck feel. Uh, you know, it's interesting, I measured it. This is a 1 and 11 sixteenths um, nut or nut width, which is actually, that's modern Fender. But I think the way they've done the string spacing, it actually feels a little bit smaller. It feels, so if you have big hands, you might feel a little crowded on this instrument. Um, my main guitar is a 66 Mustang, so that's got tiny little necks, so I'm not, you know, string crowding doesn't bother me too much. talked about the balance it stays in tune really well now let's talk about these pickups all right right now I have him off um, it's very interesting so with him off he's a little more like a standard uh, you know you could push it you could say it's like the p90 thing like so my test is always okay neck pickup like do you do the cool like jazzy thing can you be like Do you have that warm? Oh, I forgot it. Wait, no, I remember it. Nope. Can you do that? Can you do the West Montgomery stuff, you know, in my very Eric way? And the answer is yeah. So it has that nice... So this now though, what about our bridge pickup? How bright and aggressive are you? The answer is pretty bright and pretty aggressive. I didn't mean to play that chord, but that's cool. It does. That would be one thing if I was gonna levy a criticism. He's a little, you know, he's brighter than I would expect. Let's play like a... Brian Jonestown Massacre riff. Let's see what that bridge pickup sounds like if I gain it up more, though. Uh, with some delay. It does sound good. It's just a little brighter than I thought. Um, and then, so the fun thing about this guitar, though, is if you, I'm still rolling on everything, okay, if you bring in this pickup, now we have straight up. Strat vibes. <laughs> It's a 335 that can do Strat stuff. So that's like really cool and useful. Um, yeah, that's these two. Let's switch it to these two. Yeah, and you can do the... The vaguely Knopfler stuff. Hold on. better than that one. And interestingly enough, if you have just middle, it's a cool pickup too. I keep playing that one chord. I need a, I need a different riff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bonus points to you, my YouTube subscribers, if you could name this obscure Boston indie band.
That's just middle pickup. <laughs> now it's nobody. Neck pick, or sorry, bridge pickup. I think other questions people will often have of a guitar like this is... Does it fuzz? The answer is, yes it does. using an octave fuzz so it's got the weird you know does it feed back At the volume level I'm, I am, it's, it's not going to feed back. Oh. Phaser! Uh, wait, I'm gonna, watch me butcher this Billy Corgan solo. sustain I would think I would get okay though I talk about everything balance is well is very comfortable and very well made thank you vox um yeah pickups you know i don't know too much about pickups i googled it quickly strap pickup and p90 my understanding is that a strap pickup just based on the way it's built it's the there's less wire closer to the magnet because it's a tall pickup which this is more like whereas a p90 you know has the shape where it's shorter pole pieces so more wire further away which is apparently what makes the sound different so people will look at these and say oh are they like p90s i would think of them more like meaner tougher strap pickups um so that's an interesting thing because you have the body construction style with like the headstock angle and, and the scale length that is a gibson style guitar you know 24 and three quarters with this you know this kind of tail piece um so that, that DNA of it is, is, you know, the classic 335, but then overwound strap pickups. And like, yeah, to look at it, you know, it just looks so cool and retro, which, you know, look, look at me. Look at how I dress. Look at the amps I like. Like, of course, yeah. It, I'm so, I don't know why. I'm just I'm stuck in the, you know, 60s and 70s. You almost, yeah, you won't see me play guitars that look modern. It's just, I don't know, it's an aesthetic choice. So yeah, this one, like, 
it looks like garage rocky like it makes me that's why i played that brian jonestown massacre riff um but sonically because of that it's like yeah it can do just about everything a 335 can do in a slightly strattier way and if you don't have a strat and one of those like those out of phase you know stratty sounds it has those too so in short now i want to try all the 335s <laughs> um because yeah i used to think that this body style wasn't comfortable that like i wouldn't enjoy sitting with it and playing but now i'm like oh yeah it is fun to sit with and play and it's funny you know i'm not usually a guy who sits around and just noodles bluesy licks but this guitar does kind of make me want to do that because it just it's very yeah it's it's nice is doing all right out there thanks for watching my channel and uh supporting me on patreon those of you that do that i appreciate those of you that click on my videos everything i appreciate everything don't appreciate that lick i just played more effects that'll fix it